everyone welcome to yarn wonders in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a puff stitch so this stitch here is called the puff stitch you can uh, make a lot of products using this particular puff stitch in this video i'm going to show you how to make a puff stitch in a, a foundation chain okay so to make a puff stitch you will need a even number of chains I'm using a acrylic yarn here uh, with a size 4.5 mm crochet hook. Okay, so we're going to start off by making even number of chains. I need five puff stitches, so I'm going to go ahead and make 10 chains. and ten. Okay, so this is the foundation chain of the puff stitch row. To this, you are going to add three chains. So you need an even number of foundation chain, and these three chains are going to uh, add the height of the puff stitch. So to make a puff stitch, we are going to go into the fourth chain from the hook, and you are going to yarn over insert into the fourth chain and you're going to pull up a loop okay again yarn over insert into the same chain and pull up another loop so to make a puff stitch you can do this three times four times or five times however you want the more number of loops you take it's going to look more puffier like um, here this is a four uh, pull out uh, puff stitch and here I'm, I'm going to show you a three, yeah, I'm going to do it three times. You can choose to do more uh, if you want. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on a hook. Now you're going to make, keep your middle finger here and we are going to yarn over that finger and pull out of all the loops while holding the loop like this okay adjust it so that it's not too tight or too loose now pull out your finger and insert the needle into that loop so it is more like to tie the stitches that we have made okay so now we have two loops on your on your hook yarn over pull out of both the loops okay and for the next puff stitch we have to skip one and go into the next stitch yarn over insert into the next one pull out a loop make sure the height is same as your previous puff stitch so every time you pull out a loop adjust the height otherwise it's gonna look uneven okay so I've done three times one two three four five six seven I have seven loops now I'm gonna hold the yarn here with my finger and I'm going to pull out a loop. Adjust the loop, now insert into this loop and close the puff stitch. Okay, so here we have two puff stitches. Again, yarn over, skip one and go into the next stitch, pull out, yarn over, pull out the loop adjust the height do it twice and uh, again close the puff stitch okay so again i'm going to show you one more time you have to skip one stitch go into the next one pull out a loop adjust the height again Now hold the yarn with your finger and make a loop to close the puff stitch. Okay. Again, skip one, go into the next stitch. Make another puff stitch. Hold the yarn, pull out a loop over your finger, adjust the loop, insert the needle into that loop and pull out okay 
So we are done with five puff stitches and I'm going to show you how to do the next row. Okay. Again, you start off with a chain three. So these puff stitches also, they form a chain on the top of the row. So that is, this is the puff stitch that you made and it has formed a chain. So you're going to add three chains to it, turn your work and you're going into the fourth loop. You can either choose to do the puff stitches on top of each other or in between. You can also go into the space here. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make it on top of uh, the previous rows puff stitches. You're just going to go into the fourth chain from the hook and start making puff stitches again. Again, skip one chain go into the next one which is the top of the second puff stitch here insert pull out a loop yarn over insert pull out a loop yarn over insert pull out a loop once you have seven loops on your hook hold the yarn make a loop pull out of all the loops and close the puff stitch like this okay you can continue to do this to any length that you want. I'll show you. So it gives a nice uh, texture to the product that you're making. Do try out this uh, stitch. And if you make anything using the puff stitch, do post it on Instagram at Samya underscore Yarn Wonders. And I would love to see the products that you make. Okay, so we are at the end of the row. And this is the final uh, stitch. So again, you can just start off by chaining three, turn your work and continue making puff stitches. I hope you like the video and uh, do subscribe to my channel to learn more about crocheting. Thank you.